Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get retro games onto your Google Sites. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. My name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. A couple videos ago I showed you how to make your own interactive games that are linked to your curriculum and your lessons. Today we're going to be looking at a bit of entertainment. So I'm going to show you how you can get some of those classic retro games and pop them onto your Google Sites for your students to enjoy. Now this is a great way of teaching them about how much technology has changed, evolved or maybe share about your own favorites you used to play when you were younger. You never know, they might just enjoy these retro games as much as you did. So let's dive into it. The first thing you'll need is the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive is a non-profit that houses many books, games, websites, software, anything you can think of. So let's go ahead and open this up by going to archive.org and at the top you will see that there is a software button. So go ahead and click on that and the retro games we're going to be using are MS-DOS games. Now this is a fairly new addition to the archive so let's go ahead and dive into that one. We're going to click on it and then we're going to find a number of different games. Now I remember having to swap out floppy disks in order for me to be able to play Prince of Persia. So having that on this page here this makes me really want to add it onto my Google Sites. So I'm going to open up Prince of Persia. Now because the way MS-DOS games worked, they required very specific hardware. Now the Internet Archive, what they do is they will emulate this and all we have to do is just open up the game and we can start playing it. So we don't have to worry about the hardware, we don't have to worry about any of the settings. Go ahead and click on that share button and this will now allow you to share it elsewhere. What we want is we want to embed it onto our Google site. So go ahead and select embed and then we get our embed code. This will now need to be copied and then pasted into your Google Sites. So in a second tab, go ahead and open up a Google Sites. We're going to double click on the content area and then we're going to paste our game. Once you've pasted this game in, the only thing you'll have to do is resize it to really match the feeling of that game. Now, there's one downside to embedding old MS-DOS games, and that is that Google Sites is responsive and it works on mobile phones and tablets. However, the input that these games require is from keyboards. So for example, in Prince of Persia, a lot of spacebar key inputs will be required. And obviously opening this up on your mobile device will not give it that same input. But on a computer, laptop or a Chromebook, this works like a charm. So go ahead and try it out by clicking on that preview button at the top and you can now start playing your Prince of Persia game. Now because of copyright I will mute the sounds and soundtrack but know that when you are doing this on your own websites that soundtracks are included. Now let's go ahead and jump back onto our internet archive and find a second game. This time I'm going to choose Aladdin. Now Aladdin can be copied over the same way. We're going to look for that share button, the embed code and then I'm going to pop it onto my website. Now what you can see here is you can have multiple games on one single page. These will not all load at the same time but when you click on that preview you can now select which game you'd like to play. This gives you a chance to then have students reflect on these games, maybe give you some feedback about what was the design behind it, what they liked about it and maybe also how it ties in or links with modern games. A great conversation starter and also a brilliant way of showing them just how much technology has advanced. Now I hope you found this helpful make sure you scroll down and let me know in that comment section below which of these retro games was your favorite and which ones would you like to share with your students. Also do let me know what their response was and which games did they enjoy the most. Then scroll back up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now that notification bell will make sure that you get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.